They lay eggs of different qualities from basic to exceptional. Huh. They're genderless, but breedable. Okay. They're mammals, thus they breed with gestation. Okay. But wait a minute. So how can they breed with gestation and lay eggs? What the <laughs> hell? Welcome back, everybody, to Ark Survival Evolved on the Fjorder map. I'm an old guy gaming and uh, lots to get you caught up on. Uh, our main focus for today is going to be uh, to get geared up to start breeding. Um, but before we get started with that, uh, a couple things to update you on. So as you can see, I have completed the uh, the base here. I have the put the roof on. I had some... Uh, I, I was planning on, you know building the slanted portions up higher than one tile, but I could not, I couldn't get the doggone thing to, um, to snap. And I messed around with, you know, putting some extra walls in and some pillars and I just, just didn't come up with a, a good solution. So I decided just to, you know, make the, the top of the, the roof flat there. And it, it works. It's get gets the job done. As you can see, I've got all the flyers now in the attic here and, um, we have a, a hatch for them to, fly out of and here's what here's what it looks like uh, from up above so pretty cool I have a couple of uh, towers uh, or I finished rather I should say the towers out as well and, and put some walkways up to those towers I still have to finish the uh, stairway in front so that's a that'll be a, a project for a later point in time but pretty pleased with how the base has come together um, I was able to redeem my big fluster cluck in the last episode which i think i'm gonna name that episode uh, by taming an even higher level uh, female baryonyx and a high level um a donkey so uh, i didn't record the footage of getting a uh, barista here uh, but she was a she was a 140 i think 140 or 145 uh, not 150, but very close. And her stats, uh, she has 15,000 health, whereas the one that we lost a couple episodes ago, or what last episode, was only like 5,000 health. So she's way tougher. She can do more damage. And um, I'm still pl I'm still looking for a decently high-level male Baryonyx that will also go with us out in the sea just so we have th the extra support and they have the mate boost. But, yeah, she's far, far more effective. And then this donkey, I think, was a level 80. This is an X donkey. Um, and I was, I just found this by chance, and it was kind of stuck on the shore over by the swamp. And so it was, it was a super easy tame. And I, I kind of felt like, I, I know this is not actually the case, but I kind of felt like the game was giving me a break after beating the shit out of me, you know, um, by you know, by finding this. And so here's some real quick footage for uh, the taming of the donkey. So, um, I've also changed my mind, um, especially with this higher level of Dunkleostis, in terms of using it to get other resources besides just oil. Um, this creature is, is amazing at getting metal too, uh, and stone, and really all of it. And so, uh, what I've been doing then, or what I have done, is taken it out and gotten oil and metal with it. Uh, I could get stone too, but I still use at, at present. I'm just I'm still using the dodecarus for the stone, but um, I can get tons of metal. And you know the donkey has a, a bonus with the weight on that, where it, you know it doesn't weigh as much. 
And then I just bring it back and throw it into here and then bring the RGs down to haul it up to the base. And it seems to work out uh, pretty well. Uh, so anyway, yeah, we're back in the game when it comes to sea stuff. There's a lot more, of course, um, that we can and probably will do when the time comes. But I uh, just want to give you an update. And then, of course, I built this uh, Behemoth Gate water pin as well. So we got like a little, um, you know, platform here made out of stone foundations, a place to store stuff that we bring in from the sea. And then I have uh, a feeding trough over here with some fish and regular meat in it. Uh, so, yeah, that's pretty much where we are in terms of the ocean stuff uh, here in the game. So we'll be continue to be on the lookout for, you know, for more uh, sea creatures uh, as time goes on. Now, um, let's go back to the base. Another thing I want to do, and we might even attempt to do this in this episode, we'll see how our time goes, is um, you guys told me, uh, when you guys told me in the comments that the Maywings are really, really good creatures for traveling. And apparently they're pretty easy to tame, too, from what Dota, Dota Dex is telling me. They just take basic kibble, and um, and according to uh, what Dota Dex is saying... Uh, I can knock uh, 150 out with just two darts uh, from my Ascendant Rifle here, which we got out of a loot drop uh, somewhere. I, I'm pretty sure I showed you guys the the uh, footage for that, or maybe I have it in a clip that I haven't shown yet. I know I haven't, I haven't edited, of course, this video yet, so we'll see. Anyway, I do have an Ascendant Rifle that we got out of a drop. It has 262% uh, damage. Um, so with that plugged into um, Dota Dex, yeah, it's saying I can knock out a, a max level 150 Maywing with just two darts. So, and it doesn't have a it doesn't have a head uh, uh, multiplier either. So we don't have, have, even have to worry about hitting him in the head. So if it's going to be that easy to tame, I mean, yeah, we might as well run over and get them. They're over in the, the Redwoods, and it'll take four basic kibble. If I use a Sanguine Elixir, then it'll only take three. So that should be, should be you know, relatively easy to do. So maybe we'll do that towards the end of this episode. Like I said, we'll just see how our time goes. Now, over here, um, I have a, some small critters. I got a, some um, dodos, some penguins, and some li Lystrosaurs, I think they're called. And I basically just have them um, creating basic eggs for, for kibble, for basic kibble. And I also mated them a little bit, so we have uh, we have some eggs from them here, in here, that will we'll probably hatch. And that's really their sole purpose, just to, to give us these basic eggs for basic kibble. No, but the thing is, is you know, we don't need, there's not a whole lot of things that we are going to use basic kibble for. So I might actually not even hatch these eggs. We might just turn them into kibble themselves because we just don't need base, a ton of basic kibble. We'll see how that goes. Uh, this one just collects normal normal eggs, you know, unfertilized eggs. Uh, so, again, for the purpose of kibble. Okay, so what I want to do is, <clears throat> um, you know, kind of based upon my overall plan for this series here on Fjorder and on this particular server, uh, I don't anticipate this being a really long series. Um, so I, I'm going to use some of the, uh, S plus features like the hatchery to kind of help speed things along. Um, I don't really have the time nor the desire to imprint dinos directly. It just, it takes so long to do that. That's not to say we wouldn't, we maybe wouldn't do that, you know, in the future more, you know, more long play types of series. But in this particular series, particularly since this is kind of my, you know, my reintroduction to the game after two and a half years being gone and the fact that Ark Ascended is supposed to be coming out next month. Uh, there's all kinds of weird news on that, whether it's happening or not happening or what. But, uh, you know, that could that could change things pretty quickly, you know, for us. So um, that being said, you know, we're not, we're not going to be worried too much about doing things hardcore in this series. Uh, we'll just use the tools that we currently have. Okay, so that being said, uh, what I want to make next is the hatchery. And uh, we also need to either make the air conditioner or we can make the egg incubator. I'm not exactly sure what the difference between the two is. Uh, but let's put in the hatchery first. Um, hatchery. There we go. 
Uh, so let's learn this. Uh, it's going to take 20 dinosaur eggs. I'm hoping that it doesn't matter what kind of eggs it requires and then some keratin and some thatch. So let's learn that. And um, what we'll do is we'll grab these eggs here. And I, I should have more back at the base in the fridge. And I'm going to... You know, this Denonicus egg was giving, given to me by, um, by Matthew. And I'm thinking about hatching it only because if it, if it's a female and then it lays its own eggs, we need, or we could use Denonicus eggs for kibble for Udys, for Uteranus, because they require the, the max level, you know, type of kibble. Um, these are relatively easy to get. You just basically fly to their nest and grab them. Um, so... We might go ahead and, and hatch this, and hopefully it's a female. If it's not, not then we'll you know we'll go get some more, so we can get those eggs for that for that max level kibble. Um. So anyway, that being said, let's um. Well, yeah, let's just leave all that stuff there. Uh, the dragon eggs, by the way, are are mythicals um, fire wyvern eggs that he got. And so that that's where those came from. Those aren't mine. I didn't get them. Uh, so we'll grab these dodo eggs and the kakaru eggs and paki egg. I guess I must have, that must have just came from the wild. Okay, so that gives us 16, that only gives us 17 eggs. I kind of wanted to keep the Argentavis eggs because we can use that to make like the superior kibble. Um... I did put an egg collector here too because of the birds up above, but they haven't haven't laid anything since last night. All right, well, um, let me look at something here. If we go back to, or no, if we go here, hatchery. Yeah, it is counting those eggs. So my assumption is then that we can hopefully use some of these fertilized eggs because I. Uh, again, I don't really actually need... I, I turned their mating off, too, by the way. <laughs> I don't need that many of these small critters. We'll probably only hatch a, a couple of each more and then call it good. So if we put 17, 18, 19, 20 of those in, does that give us enough now to make the hatchery? Yes, it does. Okay, so now we just need some keratin and thatch, which we have back over at the other other side here let's do it and then the hatchery if you don't know what it does is it it picks up fertilized eggs but it also incubates them and it imprints um, baby dinos for you automatically so it's it's pretty op but I, I think it suits our purposes so let's pull everything else we need we'll make the hatchery probably right underneath the stairs is a good spot for it Oh, wow, that thing's big. Okay. Unpowered. Show range. Yeah, it covers a huge area. Okay. Um. I guess, yeah, you can also tell it if you don't want it to pick up certain types of eggs, that sort of thing. Um, hide range. All right, so how do we power this? Do we have to put something in it, or does it take... Crafting hatchery. Collects fertilized eggs. Won't pick up eggs at or below 1% incubation. Incubates eggs in its inventory to 1%. Boosts egg production of nearby dinos. Oh, yeah, that's the other thing that it does. Um, so it basically serves the purpose of a oviraptor. Can use tech generator or re-fertilizer. Oh, okay. We have to make re-fertilizer to, to power it. That's right. Okay. So now we have those in there. It still says that it's unpowered. What? It's just not receiving actual power from a tech generator, but it, that doesn't mean it's not working. It's just going to consume fuel. I guess that's what it means. I mean, we're not going to really know. Well, we could test it, actually. Here, let's... um. 
Let's grab this Denonicus egg and drop it and see if it picks it up. It usually takes some um, uh, a, a few seconds or whatever for it to. There it goes. Okay, so it did pick it up. All right, so it's working. It's just um, it's not powered, but it's working. <laughs> it just was throwing my brain off. All right, good. So so basically, what what will happen then is it'll incubate this egg down to one percent. Um, and it should also be giving the egg. Yeah, see how the we got the pulsating egg over all of our dinos now. So it's doing the Oviraptor thing, which promotes um, egg laying. Cool. Okay, so the other thing we're going to need once that Denonicus is ready to hatch is we either need an air conditioner, which is the, the usual way to do it, but we also have an egg incubator, which is new. This wasn't in the game uh, last time I played. Uh, I don't remember it being in the game anyways. So this is a deployable device for warming and monitoring up to 10 eggs at once. Requires electricity to run. Okay, but can't an air conditioner do that as well as long as it's in range? Let's see what, what does the air conditioner description say? It requires electricity to run, provides insulation from both heat and cold to an area. So did they change it so this can no longer hatch eggs or? I mean, we have to learn this as a prerequisite anyways to the a uh, the incubator. So that's 15 crystal, 15 electronics, 80 metal and five polymer. Okay, let's learn it. Um, now let's go back to the incubator. So this is more expensive. Can be set to auto adjust temperature and auto hatch eggs. Uh, let's let's just learn it. What the hell? Let's just do it. Um, because I'm curious about this exactly. Does this does this collect the eggs then too? And do we not need this then? I don't know. Oh, we need. Okay, we need to make electronics. We should. We should have enough stuff for that. There's 126. How many do we need? We need 250. There we go. Okay. Okay, while we're waiting for that, let's make some uh, basic kibble. And I think what I'm going to do here is... Let's have, um, we'll have two pairs of dodos. We'll have two pairs of penguins. And we have one male and two female lystras, which is good enough. So I think the rest of these basic eggs here, we're just going to turn into kibble. So let's pull these out of here. Now, we also need to make ourselves a nanny, an S plus nanny, if we want to automatically feed, uh, which we do. And it looks like preserving salt is what powers it. No, it says just requires power. Okay. Uh, so that means we need to cut our hair. And I did happen to make some skizzers. Let's put all of these eggs in here. And then um, we're just going to turn all these into kibble. So we'll, let's see, we got 12, 18, 19, 20, 21. So let's make 21 things of basic kibble. Uh, we just want resources for one. Oops. Let's grab these, and I guess we just there we go. Okay. Um, I have to remember how to do this, and then 
take all of our hair away. Here. Except that. There we go. Okay, so that added 20 human hair to our inventory. Now, can we also... How do we do the beard? If we go... Oh, yeah, facial hair right here. Okay. It'll grow back. That added 10. Okay, so we have a total of 30 human hair. How much does the nanny require? Uh, 50. Shit. Okay. I think... We can maybe use sheep wool also. So let's just keep these in our inventory. And uh, I know where some sheep are up north. And if we come across them, we'll see if we can just shear them. Or it actually, wouldn't wouldn't even be that bad. I did have a few of them on hand just for mutton and, and, and for this purpose. So we should probably tame some of those too. So many tames, so little time, right? That's the way art goes. Okay, let's go back to here. And we're going to go here, and we're going to pull resources and make ourselves an S-plus egg incubator. Cool. Okay, let's grab this. Um, I also want to grab some more gasoline out of here for the generator in the barn. And let's run over there and put this thing down and check it out. There we go. Okay. Oh, that's cool looking. <laughs> All right. So crack egg, hatch egg requires 100%. Have some peace of mind while you incubate your eggs. Eggs that normally must be hatched underwater require the incubator to be underwater. Interesting. Hatch egg requires 100%. Uh, I wonder if, hmm, I wonder if you have to be, um, if you, if this needs room around it, maybe it needs to be like in the middle, out in the middle here. So, all right, what if we, Can we pull that back out of there? Yeah. Let's just try something. Let's put this in here. Okay, so the incubation is at 85. It just dropped from 86 to 85. And now it just dropped to 84. Okay, so it does look like it's incubating more quickly than the hatchery is. Yeah, because see, th this one's still at 85. This one's now at 83. So, yeah, I'm not sure what this... Maybe, okay, you know what I think this means? It probably means that you have to get the egg to 100% incubated, and then you can select it, click this, and I guess it poops the animal out somewhere near it. That's that's my guess. Okay, cool. So, um, let's do, let's, um, let's put the Denonicus in, well, you know what, actually... Maybe we'll use this for everything. This is still going to be useful to us because it provides the Avaraptor, you know, egg stimulation thing. But let's put all of these eggs in here. And um, I'm, my assumption is once they get... Oh, you can even see them in here. Oh, that is cool, man. I like that. And you can look at them and get information on what they are. That That's neat. I like it. Uh, anyway, um, I guess that, yeah, you'll see the other ones up top there. Uh, we'll let that do its thing, and then we'll come back, you know, when those eggs are completely incubated. And uh, try it out and see what happens. All right, now, what we're going to do next is we are going to go ahead and try and see if we can get ourselves a Maywing. Because why not? Put the that gasoline in there. And we might uh, also along the way, since we're going to be kind of in the same area, uh, we might see if we can find some sheep to uh you know get some wool because i'm pretty sure wool is equivalent to human hair for for stuff all right so let's see let's get ourselves ready to go again according to dodo uh two trank darts should knock down a max level maywing so we're gonna be good to go on that um we are gonna want the maywing saddle 
Do I have one of those? May. It doesn't look like it. Okay, so we're going to have to learn it. And I think we have to make it in here. Okay, so that gets the saddle going for us. Okay, so that gives us 21 basic kibble. Um, according to Dota X, we're only going to need three if we use Sangun, four if we don't. Um, let's take six just in case. Now I think we're ready to go. All right, guys, um, I'm going to cut the camera here. I'll meet you guys over uh, up in the area where the sheep are. We'll shear a couple of those to get some wool, and then we'll go into the redwoods to get ourselves a maywing. So I'll see you over there. All right, guys, we are at the location where the sheep are. Um, here's the area on the map that we are, for those of you who are interested. Uh, so 1768-ish. So I think we can share these guys wild. Hopefully we can. Let's just see what happens. Yeah. Um. Oh, shoot. You know what? It's not counting the wool. It still says I have zero... Okay, well, shoot. I guess that means we're going to have to wait until our hair grows back out again. Or, Oh, you know what? I could probably cut Mythical's hair. <laughs> he probably won't care. It'll grow back. Yeah, that's what we'll do. Okay. Well, in that case, um, let's continue on to where the Maywings are. Uh, where I've mostly seen them is over by the, the little fortress area here in the Redwoods. There's a Spino. I was thinking about maybe taming a couple of low-level Spinos uh, solely for their eggs, you know, for the kibble. Um, so that's a possible possibility, too. But if we do that, we'll do it at the swamp, where it's a lot closer to our base, of course. There's one right there. Lost a, lost the render on it. It's getting harassed by a thylo. There he's right over there. It's really hard to to get a beat on these guys. Yeah, I don't even know where it went now. Okay. Uh, I wonder if you can bola these guys. Do I have a bola with me? I do. We might actually want to do that because I think they can like burrow underground. So if we hit one once, it might disappear and then, you know, make it hard for us to get to it. Okay. We're going to land right here. You're on passive. It doesn't work. Okay. Well, now we know for sure. So I guess that means we're going to have to shoot it and then follow it. I don't know what else to do. And what I was mistaking uh, for them going underground is just them taking off. They just do it so fast that it looked like it almost looks like they're burrowing down under the ground. Here, let's use our sonar thing. All right, there's one there. I 
That's a 55. Yeah, that's just a little bit low. I want to... I want something that's at least 100 or even 90, perhaps. Okay, there goes one right there. wonder why it's agitated. I haven't done anything to it. Yeah, that's a 145. Okay. That's the one we want. We need it to uh, chillax, though. Is it stuck on the cliff? Um, Dota Deck says it'll go down with two. Hey, there's one over there. I don't know if that's the same one or not, though. I think it is, because it's 145. Okay. Even if it isn't, I'll take a 145. Okay, so that's two. Okay, it's down. Good, good, good. All right, now... Uh, here, come here, bat. Give me this... And I think we just, I don't know, do we have to start taming first or do we just drink this? Let's drink it. Yeah, look at that. We already got one third of it done. Okay, we just need to make sure nothing bad comes along. Oh, well, okay, there you go. That was easy. <laughs> um, We're going to call this, uh, I don't know, is this a male? I think this is a male. So, we're going to call him Matey, because <laughs> why not, right? You are a male, right? Yes, you are. Cool. Okay, so now let's grab, I guess I have the saddle on me. I'll take that back out of there. And give me your, all of that stuff, and we'll put you in here. Oh, hold on. Do I need to take this? I think I need to take the saddle off, too. Okay, let's try that again. All right. Let's try this thing out. Hmm. Okay, so... Ah, okay. You have to charge. Gotcha. You have to charge it. And then, oh man, this thing is fast. Good lord. Look how fast this is. Okay, what happens though if you're like over the ocean and you land in the water? Can you go in the water with these guys? Okay, and can you launch out of the water? Yep, you sure can. Oh, this is cool, you guys. I like this. The only thing you can't do is ascend, um, you know, once you've reached your height. And unless you, I don't know, can you catch an updraft? It kind of doesn't look that way. Oh, shit. Knocked a whole shitload of trees over. Oh, that's cool. Okay. Okay, so let's charge. Is there a... Okay. So I don't know how long you have to hold it down to charge it. Oh, look at him slide, too. Very cool. All right, so... We're about at half stamina after all of that exertion. 
So why don't we why don't we give its first point into stamina? Nursing effectiveness. What the hell does that mean? Nursing effectiveness. They lay eggs of different qualities from basic to exceptional. Huh. They're genderless, but breedable. Okay. They're mammals, thus they breed with gestation. Okay. But wait a minute. So how can they breed with gestation and lay eggs? What the hell? <laughs> Uh, all right. Well, I'll have to, uh, I'll have to do some more reading up on these guys. I mean, they're pretty darn fast on foot though, too. I mean, this isn't bad. That's scooting along pretty good. Oh yeah. Look at this. Very cool. Okay. So it doesn't look like you have to have to hold the space bar down for very long. Nice. Compound bow and a thylacoleo saddle. And an air conditioner after we learned it, but we had to for the a a incubator thingy anyways. Yeah, this is this is awesome. I love this. Okay, well. This is our new flying around scouting creature. It does, it, it, it can for a short period of time gain some altitude. It looks like, Oh, it almost looked like I gained more altitude there too. I don't know. Oh, okay. I see what's going on. You have to dive down to pick up speed and then you can flip back up in the air. All right. I'll just get used to it. So dive down. Flip back up to climb. Dive down. Flip back up to climb. And then if you happen to accidentally land on the ground, then you just jump back up. Very neat. Okay, I thought I saw an alpha over here. So even if you do hit the ground, you can just tap the space bar and jump right back up in the sky again. Hmm. Like I said, I thought I saw a red glow. I like <laughs> I like how they skid like that. This is fun. Very fun. Um, I guess this creature was introduced on one of the Genesis maps, from what I understand, and then when they made Fjord, they added it there. But uh, it's good stuff. All right, guys. Well, I'm going to let you go here, and um, we'll figure out what the plan is for the next episode. I'm going to keep you know, working on trying to get our breeding program going and uh, go from there. So... Thanks, everybody, for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment and share the video. And we'll catch you all in the next episode. Bye-bye.